world record holder belongs largely to Dunk and very slightly to Satan. Yeah, I had a good like six hours in the limelight of any heat. That was yeah. cool. Uh, um, do me a favor. Could you turn up the game volume a bit? I don't think yeah, we sure have thing. anything coming through. Uh... Oh, I know the problem is. I had this fixed and then it unfixed itself. How about... How about now? Yes, we're good. All right, Perfect. back to you. All right, so with that, I think we will just dive into it. Um, I can give you a 3, 2, 1 countdown. I'm going to start the timer, Thar. And it'll be on go. So 3, 2, 1, go. And we're off. Uh, one thing to note about this run that's going to be different than Webster's run outside of the length of time is we are running a mod for this run. Um, Element OP, a member of the community, made a mod specifically for racing in Hades, and it sort of seeks to equalize some of the RNG that can go into the game. The biggest thing that it helps us with is uh, sticks RNG, which we saw webs get a little unlucky with last run, which you really hate to see. So this time, the most we will see is a three sack. All right. So uh, going into this, this is an all weapons speed run. All weapons is a category where we run. Uh, there are six main weapons in Hades and by main weapons, uh, there each weapon has four aspects, but which uh, modify how the weapon plays. But there are six uh, weapons, fists, sword, shield, bow, rail, which is a gun, and um, which one did I miss? You know, spear? Did you say spear? Spear, yes, and spear. <laughs> um, thank you. No problem. Uh, <laughs> this speedrun category runs each of them one time in a row, and it's timed exclusively in real time. You may notice that there is a, a little timer up in the upper right-hand corner of the game. That is the in-game timer. It pauses when a lot of different things happen, like when you're picking boons or picking up a hammer or getting palms or in rooms that are uh, story rooms. Yeah, we don't have any of that. This is going to be fully real time, even the time in between runs, the time that you're moving through the House of Hades or dying or anything like that. Uh, all of those are going to be timed as a part of this uh, run. So it's important to even menu fast during uh, an all weapon speed run. We're going to be starting out with Demeter Fists, which is uh, if you want to talk a little bit about what Demeter Fists is and what it does, uh, Rist, go for it. Yeah, um, so as Dunk mentioned, uh, every single weapon has four uh, aspects. These aspects will change a sort of core part of the weapon. Um, and we've sort of landed on uh, which aspect is, generally speaking, the best for uh, for speedrunning. Uh, we're using Denver Fists, uh, as Dunk said. Um, fists are a fast attacking weapon, so um, whenever you whenever you hit something twelve times uh, with your attack, your special will become charged up. You can see Zagreus sort of glowing blue sometimes. That means it's all charged up. And that means that your special will hit an additional five times. Uh, so it's got a lot of natural damage going for it. And that's also kind of why we're able to run this uh, specific build that you're already sort of seeing coming together. We start off with Ares Keepsake, which is one piece of it. Uh, we're still looking for Athena, which is the second piece. Um, and we're hoping to be able to, uh, after getting these two gods, find their sort of combination duo boon. Uh, called Merciful End, which is probably one of the highest impact duo boons in the game, I'd say. Oh, very of, likely. Yeah. I can't think of one that's that's better. Maybe Mirage Shot in, in certain scenarios, but even then. Maybe. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, the, the fists are especially um, are, are work especially well with Merciful End because since Merciful End takes a long time to nice one, say. <laughs> Get in the darkness, the darkness strats. Oh. Menuing failure already. <clears throat> so to oh, talk yeah. a little bit about what Merciful End is. Um, so there are, uh, usually we don't really want to go for things that are like damage over time effects in speedruns. Because speedruns, obviously, we want 
things to happen fast. <laughs> we want uh, damage to come out instantly. Yeah, we want damage to come out instantly. We want enemies to be taken down as quickly as possible. Um, Ares, the uh, primary god for this, uh, I apologize if you ever hear a dog in the background, um, is a uh, uh, a god that normally has a pseudo damage over time effect uh, called Doom. Uh, what Doom does is you uh, uh, hit somebody with it, it applies a uh, debuff called Doom that lasts for a second, and then after that second, it drops down and does a burst of damage. The uh, Ares Athena duo, Merciful End, duo boons being the sort of combination boons that you get, uh, makes it so that we bypass that um, one second uh, timer by every time a uh, Athena uh, effect that deflects, which uh, deflect is the main mechanic from Athena, hits a uh, person doomed who is a doomed, yeah, hits an enemy that is afflicted by doom, it instantly procs the doom and does the full damage plus a little bit extra uh, to that enemy. So it takes what is normally a damage over time effect and turns it into an instant burst of damage. Which is why Ares is the only uh, damage over time thing that we'll ever use. Uh, Dionysus, unfortunately, no matter how high you stack his damage, will will never <laughs> see speedrun viability, at least with his um, with his hangover. Come on, uh, what about Godspeed drama though? Uh, we're not going to talk about Godspeed drama <laughs> unless unless you end up doing it. Then I guess we'll no. have to talk about it. No. I mean, that would be the pro play, is to get us to talk about something, get it, to specifically change what bow aspect you're using, just to make us, just to prove us wrong. Yeah, that'd be great. You have a lot of power here, Satan. I'm not going to lie. You can, you can get us to do a lot of things that we wouldn't normally do. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's fine. I'm too pleased. Well, you are, uh, he's going into, unfortunately, got a barge of death. We should probably take this time to talk a little bit about the RNG of the game, uh, considering he just got a bit of a bad piece of it. Yeah. It's so, a good opportunity. yeah. So, in this game, we have uh, a number of different pieces of RNG, but the one that we're dealing with at the moment uh, is a thing called room RNG. So, uh, Hades it has a deterministic length. Uh, by deterministic, I mean it's always the same length every single time, unless you do uh, a couple of things like sack RNG can make it a little bit longer, and uh, as can if you take like chaos gates at the end of a <gasps> biome. But ooh, very nice merciful end pickup. But uh, there are several options for rooms, uh, and we're usually looking for fast mini bosses. That was not a fast mini boss. Uh, Barge of Death is notable as being one of the slowest mini bosses in the game, uh, as well as something called free rooms. Uh, normally, a, uh, say Asphodel here has six rooms in it. It goes from chambers. You can see the chamber count up in the top uh, right hand corner of the screen. That's shown because, uh, constantly because of the mod that we have running. It normally has six chambers. It goes from uh, chamber 16 to 22. Every time we get a room like the one that he just went through, which is a story room, or a shop, or a chaos gate, or a fountain room, that's what we call a free room, because it's a room where there are no enemies in it. And any room where you don't have to do combat is uh, very fast, way faster than it would otherwise be. So even though uh, Satan did get a, a bit unlucky with that barge pickup, because barge is a slow mini boss, um, it was made it was made up for a little bit by that uh, Eurydice pickup, that story yeah. room. Yeah, especially since we found that story room later. As the biome progresses, the, uh, the enemy counts and difficulty will get higher and higher. So the later you find your um, your, your, your free rooms, the better they are. The <clears throat> You can actually see in the upper uh, right-hand corner where the mod is that there are two little... There, there's number two next to a little story icon, uh, which means that we found two story rooms. We found Sisyphus earlier in Tartarus. Um, it doesn't tell the entire story, though. A last chamber story room, like the one we found here, sk uh, skips way more of the game than, uh, say, a really early story room. So... Yeah, the placement matters just as much as what you get. 
Absolutely. To speak a little bit more as to what we're looking for in this build right now, uh, currently we have the very basic core components of the build. You can see over on the left-hand side, once uh, Satan actually enters the next biome, uh, that he has these five slots. These are his core boon slots. Uh, the core boons are sort of the, the primary damage boons that, uh, primary damage slots that every single weapon has, though the way that they work varies slightly from weapon to weapon. Um, Merciful End can function uh, with just the attack on Ares, which he has, the special on Athena, which he also has, and Merciful End, which, again, he has. But the best version of this build requires him to also have Athena Dash, um, as well as an Ares boon called Impending Doom, which normally extends how long that uh, Ares debuff uh, last the doom debuff lasts before de dealing damage by an extra uh, 0.5 seconds but then makes it do a bunch of bonus damage but with merciful end because it's instant it just uh, bypasses that entirely and just makes your doom do a bunch of bonus damage so um, hopefully we'll see another athena and maybe a couple more Ares uh, over the course of elysium to help really assemble solidify this build Honestly, I think Hopefully. the thing that I'm really, really just hoping for is the Athena dash. So, as we had mentioned, uh, with Merciful End, Doom procs whenever you hit an enemy with a deflect effect. And Athena dash makes it so that every time you dash, you get uh, deflect frames. So, you're constantly deflecting whenever you dash. So, instead of doing this combo where I dash attack into a special, we begin to be able to just mash uh, dash and attack because we'll just be attacking to apply the doom and then dashing through them to proc the doom and you just rinse and repeat that and it's a lot nicer and feels a lot better on the old hands than uh <laughs> dash attack upper dash attack upper your old uh, yes. man hands <laughs> worn from say. work <laughs> your geriatric hands Count. beaten up by years of playing things like smash melee <laughs> you and me, but a fine one. uh I was able to avoid getting into melee. I saved my hands for for Hades speedrunning. I wasn't, but somehow I managed to still escape the uh, we've been doom. hand pain. Ooh, we're bending doom. Hey Beautiful. guys, let's try to avoid saying anything uh, Smash or Nintendo related. I'm trying oh, not to sure. get sued or anything. <laughs> yep, fair, I fair, fair. That. I forgot oh. that, that that whole thing was going on at the moment. My bad. Hard up. <gasps> In any case, we've got one of the pieces that we want. Uh, not the most important piece, which is the uh, Athena dash, but no, oh, we still got some time to be able to see it. No, well, unfortunately, we don't have that. Oh, we do have the final piece. Uh, what we'll be able to see. Well, in a moment, don't say that yet. <laughs> well, that's that's true. There, there is still a small chance that the game will not give him uh, the Athena dash boon that he wants, um, but. Assuming we do, and there's a pretty good chance because we still have one reroll left, as you can see in the lower right-hand corner. Um, we actually did a, a dry run of this, I think, last night, and the the game looked significantly different. Uh, he he actually got oh nice. Uh, he actually got Ooh, this entire build online out of Tartarus. Which, uh, and, and you can see right now, the, just the way the, the way the, the build is playing has completely changed. Gone is the sort of uh, stop and go motion. He's just punching through enemies. This is how it was uh, last night because he got really lucky. This time, he didn't really get as lucky, but he found it in, he, he found all the pieces in what I would imagine is kind of an average expected time, uh, which is why this build can be fun and frustrating. Uh, but it also yeah, just sort of exemplifies the RNG nature of the game. Some of your runs are really good. Sometimes you'll find all of this damage outside of Tartarus or even Asphodel, and you'll be good to go. But sometimes it, it takes its time. How about some other Absolutely. Well, at least we Punch. got to the point where we Rush have delivery. basically... Oh, did you roll away rush delivery? Uh, it's you because did. I don't have hyper sprint. I only have a common greater haste. So ah, that would be that's ten percent. That's not a lot of percent. I could have gotten. <laughs> Wait, no plus common one is dash. common. Is common greater haste twenty percent movement speed or ten percent movement speed? Yes, but uh, the, well, no, but the common that rush wasn't, delivery. That wasn't. 
That wasn't a, a statement. That was a question. Is it 10 or 20%? Wait. Is, uh, is common uh, greater haste 10 or 20% movement speed? It's 20% movement speed. Oh, I figured okay. out what, so it would have been 10% global damage. Yes, yeah. that's what I said. 10%. Well, All right. <laughs> Regardless, either way, uh, I for one am not losing sleep over missing out on ten percent global damage. No, it's not uh, great. However, um, let's let's not ignore the fact that no, we can ignore it. There's 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 nothing to talk about. <laughs> uh, so we're, we we're actually, on the stakes. We so. can actually talk about one of the most important uh, tools in a speedrunner's toolkit: the 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 companion, the Cathonic companion, which you can see uh, the the little bat thing right above his boons. Uh, you can see a little number next to it that shows how many charges there are and uh, whenever you, you know, use it whatever you've chosen to equip you'll summon a sort of good pal that you've made along uh, one of the friends you've made along the way and <laughs> uh, and then and they'll do some damage uh, or they'll they'll provide some sort of interesting effect depending on on which one you've taken uh, for us we use this keepsake batty uh, we'll refer to it as Meg because no one thinks of it as batty um, but we'll use it on the mini bosses and and the bosses to uh, to shave off some some precious seconds. Uh, yeah. And if you can go back into your mind's eye to the moment of the heroes fight at the end of Elysium, you'll notice that the the purple circles from Meg coming out actually ended up pretty much missing. Well, it missed the Minotaur, right? It missed the Minotaur. No, it hit these. It hit both. I promise. Yeah, it missed one. Um, and this was actually a huge mistake on Satan's part because no, we I have a way anything. of, uh, you know, guaranteeing that we can hit all of them. We 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 have years and years of gaming technology geared toward uh, uh, making our megs as efficient and precise as possible. The thing about Meg is that Meg comes out in a pattern that you that we know. It's a. Uh, uh, a pattern that is set up exactly the same every single time. If you do a certain set of inputs, you'll be able to exactly predict where Meg is going to come out. So we have actually a number of setups that we use throughout the game to get Meg to hit on particular bosses. I will be muting in just a moment because of the dog. But um, the author of the guide that is currently being used by pretty much everyone in the speedrunning community as to how to hit these Megs is actually Mr. Satan is a chill guy here. So uh, we we do give him a little bit of guff if he uh, misses them because he did in fact write the book. Although hey, it is ironic you know, that the one who wrote the book did not read it. So. It's it's fine. You know, sometimes someone's in my eyes. There's a dog barking. I'm sure you guys can all hear it. Like stuff happens, you know. And yeah, yeah. is your controller even plugged in? No, it's not. Oh, that would explain it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, the real hit Megs were the friends we made along the way either way, so it's fine. This is true. Wait, it's not. <laughs> right. Entering Hades at about 17 minutes, 15 seconds. That's pretty good. Um, in an all-weapon speed run, we're looking for about... Bare minimum is you know, 19, 20 minutes per, uh, per run to get us hopefully below two hours. Um, Anyone who can get their time below two hours is already pretty fast. And from there, it's usually a matter of, you know, smaller optimizations, uh, better RNG. That's where the sort of grinding aspect of the of the category comes in. But we're looking at like we're on a pretty good pace for our, uh, for our sub two hours. We should be done by, let's say, around 19 minutes, low 19 minutes. Um, and then we'll take about a minute to see the see the ending cutscene uh leave the the area return to the house uh change our mirror change our weapons and then get going that takes about a minute depending on certain rng factors so uh, the yeah. run ends up taking a little bit longer than than the sum of the runs combined sort of it's great we had mentioned how there's like a ton of rng that goes into a hades run and then especially all weapons because it's you know six back to back to back hades runs uh even it it it's to the point where the end cutscene is rng and can either save or lose you time in a way that's out of your control so you can just i we haven't sat down and timed the difference between all the cutscenes but it's very noticeable when you get like a five or six line long cutscene versus just like a two or three line long cutscene. 
Yeah, it's <laughs> somewhere in the realm between the fastest and the longest cutscenes. The the fastest, uh, the shortest and the longest ones. It's somewhere in the realm of fifteen seconds. Um, but the general average cutscene sits somewhere at the like the ten to twelve second range. Yeah, that makes sense. Although so, some of them are absurdly long. Like, I, I, I don't know how long. That, there, there's one called Zagreus, and I think it's like 20-ish seconds, 24 seconds. I'm sure we've timed it, but... Oh, yeah, Zagreus, Zagreus is the worst one. It mm -hmm. lasts way, 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 way too long. Also, um, it, it was so fast, uh, if you blinked, you'll miss it. Uh, you, you'd have missed it. Uh, even though Satan is using a troller... He is actually resorting to mousing to, to using the mouse to do some menuing. Uh, this is good for reaching those hard to reach places on the mirror and on the uh, and on the Pact of Punishment. So I'm turn on, on and off some settings, uh, which will save you know a couple seconds. So now on to Haribo, yeah, the on second weapon, weapon of the run. As a um as a note on weapon ordering. There's a lot of schools of thought on how to order your weapons for all aspects, or not all aspects, excuse me, all weapons. Um, <laughs> Still traumatized by the all aspect run. So typically the way you'll want to do it is you'll want your higher variant stuff at the top and the beginning of the run. Uh, for two reasons, it, it'll tend to be your faster stuff and also so that way you can get resets out of the way early if you need them um while grinding out runs uh and then from there it sort of goes into slower as well as just more consistent weapons overall uh we had spoken to um dunko being last patches all weapons world record holder and the reason why that's significant is we very recently got a very major um balance patch which made it so that our more consistent build that we had for Fist got directly affected by an item nerf. And so we had to sort of go back to Merciful End if we wanted to stay fast with the weapon, which is unfortunate. Having the chance to have something that wasn't Merciful End that only needed two pieces was really nice. But, you know, here we are now. Yeah. Yeah, and by the way, I actually just realized this because no one else has put a time up. I am also still this patch's <laughs> world record holder. <laughs> More of a I default world record. Well, no, I I got a one hour forty eight minute time on this patch. So, uh, and no one else has hit that yet. So it's Jesus. I'm cur this current patch's world record holder as well. But um, yeah, there's a lot of schools of thought of how you uh, do these weapon orderings and. Uh, this weapon ordering that we're going for right here is a uh, weapon build selection and weapon ordering is more consistent for um for actually just clearing runs and not having random deaths and random you know reset points during the run so uh this is what i would call a marathon strats version of this run um but marathon strats still work they're just not as they're not like the world record push high roll strats also yeah, these strats I, can... I have to ask uh yes. have you forgotten about mirage shot have i forgotten about mirage shot mm -hmm. no no okay so the fact that you turned down all those yes. uh, okay i just want to make sure everything is going according to plan want to make sure that you know you're okay i'm okay everything is okay yeah no um i because we're running so uh, there's some mirror changes you'll make between weapons, and this is a weapon that definitely likes God's Pride. And so I, because we're running Pride here over Legacy, which gives you extra duo and legendary chance, and Mirage Shot being a duo boon, I decided, you know, Poseidon's in the pool. If we bump into Artemis, then I can pick up Poseidon Core. At the end of the day, I don't really, you know, this weapon with this build really just needs two pieces, and that's... The piece that we have being our cast and then uh snowburst and then you're typically like fine so i'm focusing Does... on those two important pieces first and then if other nice to haves fall into place then we will definitely take them what about the... and Just there's our second to... piece of our build oh geez oh, oh my gosh, gosh. what nice Hello, wow build. incredible we found it <laughs> Dude, it's artemis and uh, it's artemis and asphodel that's really nice um 
to speak a little bit to the uh, mirror itself. So uh, the mirror is one of the uh, roguelike, roguelite, whatever you want to call it, progression mechanics in this game. Uh, there's a number of different buffs that you get, and each buff has uh, two different options that fill in the same slot. So you could choose between one or the other. Um, we all have, for speedrunning Hades, uh, we'll talk about this a little bit more in a, a bit, how this sort of differs from a normal speedrun, but we all have maxed out mirrors. And uh, we get to basically just choose which option is the best for us at any given time. The God's Pride versus God's Legacy choice is that uh, God's Pride gives you a percent higher chance of finding epic rarity boons, which are just normal boons, but more powerful. Um, and the God's Legacy gives you a higher chance of getting legendary and duo boons, which are their own special tier of rare boons. Um, so which one you go for usually just depends on the weapon, and usually uh, for something like this we go for God's Pride because it doesn't really need the duos, but also it means that we're not going to be prioritizing those difficult to find uh, duo and legendary boons since we don't have a very high chance of finding them in the first place. Yeah, this weapon is extremely self-sufficient. Uh, we should probably explain kind of what is going on on screen uh, or at least uh, what's going on with this weapon um, so the previous weapon uh, which were fists were uh, are, are very um, uh, v very main move set kind of weapon where you're mostly thinking about your your attack and your ooh, where you're mostly thinking about your attack and your special um, and, and your dash this weapon is the start of I think we we're gonna have four back to back to back to back cast weapons, right? Yes. Yeah, so this is the first of the cast weapons. It's actually really uh interesting sort of cast weapon because there's only okay. I think there's only one other like it out of the six. Which is instead of throwing out your casts, you are uh, loading them into the bow and then firing them directly into your into into whatever it is you're you're trying to aim it at. Um doing all of its damage straight up uh without without needing to worry about the cast animation uh so whenever you know he picks up an extra bloodstone like he did from chaos he has four instead of the usual uh three you know and we get excited that's kind of why um and it also helps that you see if he hits the meg nice and and another interesting property about this weapon is that when you load the cast it counts as you having used it, which is great for Snowburst, which is the sort of white explosion you're seeing going on around Zagreus. Whenever he, whenever you use a cast, it'll cause that explosion of damage, and since you can fire them off pretty much as fast as possible, uh, it, it, it's ideal for this particular kind of weapon. So this is your second Chamber 22 uh, <laughs> free room in a row, and you turn down an epic attack. What are you doing? Uh, gaming. Fair enough. <laughs> That's obvious. <laughs> um, yeah. So, Haribo is a very unique weapon uh, over the scope of the game. Uh, pretty much every every weapon has at least one aspect that is cast focused. I think exactly one aspect that is cast focused. Um, and we use several of them uh, in these all-weapon speedruns because cast weapons generally have a, a couple of unique properties that allow them to be, uh, which are you know, mathy, and I'm not going to go into it, but the, the most important thing to know about them is that they tend to be powerful and consistent, uh, as opposed to a lot of other weapons that kind of need a, a, a very specific selection of boons put together to be able to um, make it work. The uh, uh, cast weapons are very good at uh, always functioning pretty well, no matter what you have on them. Yeah, yeah cast weapons are super reliable. Uh, there's they're, only they're... one like outlier to the uh, sort of the trend of cast builds being super reliable. Don't need a ton of moving parts to get going. You just need one or two pieces. But unfortunately, as this is a marathon, we won't really be able to see that. But it's an alternative build of Beowulf shield. 
um, that instead of saying, yeah, we only need like two pieces to be good, it says, give me 30 and I will one shot things for you. It is the uh, Rube Goldberg machine <laughs> of uh, Hades builds. It's just like, ah, yes, I have these seven disparate pieces. And if you get all of them together, my gosh, am I very powerful. <laughs> and if you don't, if you're missing even one of them, it's like, it all eh, falls it's apart. Pretty, yeah, it all falls apart. It's pretty mediocre. Um, By the way, I think we have. <laughs> we got the huge catch, boys. For the people. Uh. So right. this game has a lot of uh, really cool, higher rarity boons. You got the duo boons. You got the legendary boons. A lot of them are really good. And then there's one. Uh, Poseidon is fortunate enough to have two legendary boons, and uh, one of them being the one we just got, which is Huge Catch, which increases your chance to see a fish. It's very fishing important for speedruns. Yeah, fishing is a wonderful little mini game that we have in this game. Uh, oh, nice. That's uh, nice for having for uh, for progression, right? Oh my oh, god! I feel so relaxed now. <laughs> yeah, now that you fished. are. Look at you that. You are now. Because you got huge catch and fished, it doesn't matter how well you do in the rest of this run. You are already a winner in my heart. Um, oh, yeah. But, uh... <laughs> oh, gosh. The fishing minigame is good for finding uh, progression materials for the, uh, the like, roguelike mechanics. Um, we generally, jokes aside, we generally avoid fish in uh, in real time speed runs because they're just a strict time loss. But uh, huge catch! If we're gonna pick up huge catch, the king of memes, we might as well uh, also fish. Might as well fish a little, you know. Just gotta, you gotta make use of your hangout. What else we got? I think now might be uh, a good time to uh, read off some donations. So I've heard. Um, you've been getting some, apparently. Uh, yeah. Give me a second here. We got $50 from, uh, Musius. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Oh, Pog. Musius. 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 Sounds Our better. Right. And then Jim Freak 739 has $15. And all Jim Freak has to say is just a smiley face. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Back to you. All right, so, well, this is a good time to talk about Thanatos. Yeah, we got there. Oh, boy. So uh, one of the bits of RNG in this game that's uh, a bit of a, a weird dichotomy between uh, RTA and IGT speedruns is Thanatos. So in uh, Thanatos has a chance to show up in any non-free room, non-mini-boss room throughout the entirety of the run. I think there might be a couple of rooms that are also exceptions to the rule. But um, Thanatos, when he pops in, uh, creates essentially a challenge room where that room will spawn more enemies than normal, spawns always spawns three waves of enemies, and uh at the end you're in a sort of like a challenge with him where if you beat thanatos's uh number of kills you're sort of competing for kills if you beat his number of kills he drops an extra 25 health upgrade for you so uh very nice for uh progression in the game uh as you're going through just randomly picking up thanatos is usually pretty decent um but uh, he has a couple of in interesting properties. Uh, in in-game time speedruns, like the primary category for this game, any heat usually is timed with, uh, he's actually really nice to see because Thanatos will uh, stop the timer. He stops the in-game timer while you're in the room with him. Um, which makes him actually pretty great. You're really always looking for a Thanatos when doing in-game time speedruns. But in real-time speedruns, because he, sp he not only spends time talking to you, but he makes the rooms longer, he spends time talking to you, and he has all these like long-lasting animations before he even opens the door to the room. Uh, he is just a strict time loss, and you're always... You are always hoping to never see Thanatos over the course of the run. 
he he does truly uh put on display the stellar pathfinding in uh in hades the video game made by super giant games <laughs> yeah he, sometimes he, he will he, run in circles and just take just waste time for no good reason they actually there's a very real chance in. that the animals sometimes just get stuck on a rock yeah and you'll lose an extra like 20 seconds to him not being able to figure out how to get around the rock in his path when he can so the game can't fathom that a rock would be in the way and he has to path around it all around the room yeah so basically this was a this was a thing they didn't have a uh a, an alternative pathfinding method for him for a long time and then he just got stuck on so many things and they couldn't figure out how to make him not so they added this thing where he eventually gives up and just teleports to the right location for him to drop he just, off the he just heart bamfs there he, he just bamps bamps over there so it's uh occasionally he'll just sort of dirtle around for a bit and then just uh poof into smoke and appear at the right location uh, regardless, you really don't want to see Thanatos in any uh, RTA speedrun. It's it is strictly bad. And to uh, speak to that death we took earlier, um, <laughs> so Was chaos little is really nice. Playing again? So chaos is really nice. He uh, he's a free room, and he has some pot the potential for some very powerful boons. He also has downsides to all of his boons. Some of them aren't too bad. Like, you take a little bit more damage. Enemies will throw an Inferno Bomb when they die, and you can avoid it. Sometimes you lose max health. And sometimes when you lose max health in Elysium, where there's a bunch of projectiles on screen and a ton of enemies that can do a lot of damage very quickly, you just take a death. But at the end of the day, it's worth it because we got 60% increased cast damage from that... Uh, blessing slash curse of chaos absolutely disgusting amount of cast damage uh casts have uh are scale very well with percentage damage increases so 60 percent increased uh cast damage is a lot of damage although this does allow us to draw attention to um one of the things that every cast build once and has a lot of palms in uh in the cast palms will increase the level and power of any boon you end up putting them in little pomegranates um and we only have two palms in the cast if i can if i'm seeing correctly we have a yes, level right. three uh epic aphrodite cast normally we it's want that number to be nice. like five or six it's fine. We have it made up for by the uh, the sixty percent <laughs> bonus damage. It'll be heartrend. Hey, we got a duo. That's the duo boon we were definitely looking for. Dude, I promise. By, by the by the art by the Artemis in the shop. No, it's fine. I want to say that. We're actually at a pretty good pace for yeah, this. Yeah, I was just noticing run. that. I'm noticing that because <laughs> especially since you were complaining yesterday, just how um. Uh, how bad you are at this particular weapon, but we're look, we're, looks like we're going to get out of here probably at 38 minutes, 38x, I guess. All right, yeah, that's not bad at all. Of, of course, Dunk is like, <laughs> I'd be out of here by at least 35 minutes if I won't even consider considering it a speed if run. I'm not out of my second weapon by the 20 hey, minute mark, that's a reset. Dunks there's a difference between there's a difference between world record strats and marathon strats. There is a very large difference between the two. Yeah. There's we also a huge the world difference. record strats. There's a very real chance we could have just reset for four hours straight, not gotten a run, just in the stream. So you know that's that I do that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> there's also a huge difference between a world record gamer and like whatever Satan. Is. Uh, <laughs> A uh, top <laughs> Meg user is what I top am. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Best Meg user. Uh, most no webcam gamer. Most recently rolled out of bed gamer. Just here to buy nice. gamer. I'm a lot of things. Yeah. And to be clear, I think my I think my reset timing for uh, this would be 32 to 33. So, <laughs> no one asked you, Dunk. I, I don't. I don't, I don't no, recall you fielding that question. Brought it up. You yeah, brought it up. I did. 
It's my. You were right. Thirty-eight. I wasn't gonna bring up anything I, for the entirety of the stream. The entirety of the stream, I was never gonna bring up the world record areas. Uh, but you decided. I was never going to bring up how strong up. a gamer I am and how fast I my muscles are. And... <laughs> it wasn't how gonna happen. Massive and wrinkly, my brain is. Yeah. Regardless, moving on to the Zeus cast block, which will be very Ooh. interesting. Achilles or Achilles spear, uh, or Poseidon right? first? Achilles is first. Achilles first, great. Oh. So I guess this is a moment to talk about what Achilles spear does. Take that away from me, Riss. Sure, I'll take it right now. <laughs> um, so Achilles spear is uh, probably the fastest. Um, for at least okay. at least speed runs, some people like the uh, like the Hades aspect, but we don't because it's slow. Um, this one will uh, give us a uh, damage boost to our attacks and our cast uh, after we complete our special, which you're seeing him do, or you just saw him do rather, uh, where he sort of throws it out and then rushes to it, uh, and he has a little uh, field of, field of, of electricity around him, throwing out his casts, uh, and those casts are empowered. And it, it's a great weapon. It has high mobility. It can make up for a lot of uh, uh, deficits in movement or movement penalties that you might pick up along the way. Uh, and it, it, it just can't just, just do anything. <laughs> it, it can build for attack. It can build for casts. It's, it's one of the more versatile and simultaneously probably one of the most... Is difficult the right word to use, Dunk? I don't know if difficult is the no, right word is. to use. Is it? Okay. It is, it is difficult tricky. and complicated. It's, I think it's it's beyond just being tricky, because not only... Tricky kind of implies that there's just sort of like a, a weird level of um, weirdness. <laughs> a weird level of weirdness. A, a <laughs> level of weirdness to how the weapon functions that is difficult to grasp. Um... It's that, but it's also got a pretty high execution barrier. So it's both yeah, lots of inputs, uh, it, lots of inputs. So it's both a bit weird to play and also very difficult to play from a technical standpoint. So. Yeah, lots of inputs and the way the way it goes fast, even the way it's built is kind of obtuse because like, uh, like for instance, with the previous weapon, uh, Haribo, you know, we had a cast, we built for our cast. That's what we started with, that's what we ended with, that's how we go fast with Haribo. With this weapon, we start with Zeus cast, but unless we get really, really, really lucky, we're not going to be using that as our final strategy to kill Hades. Uh, Zeus cast has really good room clear because it bounces, and the high damage, um, uh, bonus from Achilles will sort of make that bounce even more effective. Uh, but it, it does sort of lack in boss damage, especially once you get to late game, because boss will have huge amounts of health. So as we're going, Satan is going to hopefully be able to think on his feet and pick up things that will uh, help his boss damage while still maintaining his room clear speed, which is a lot to think about. Yeah, it is. It's a very difficult weapon to build appropriately, which is a part of its, you know, trickiness. Um, also, something that's notable is that uh, in a lot of games, you would imagine a sort of quality of life thing would be when you have a weapon that. Uh, ooh, very nice. Sorry, we got oh. the best possible hammer. Oh my um, god! Yes, glory oh, jab, glory jab. In so now I get to have god fun with shop. this weapon. Uh, Wow. Achilles is a weapon that some will say is hammer reliant, some won't. I'm in the camp that it's not hammer reliant, but if you get flurry jab, which makes your attacks faster and gets rid of your spin, uh, if you get that, then you're having a very good time with the weapon, which I am now. Oh, yes. Yeah. So um, a little thing about, yeah, flurry jab not only makes your weapon faster, but also it changes your attack combo inherently. Um, your attack combo normally comes out as these big sort of like individual uh, strikes, a uh, big poke, poke, poke. Um, especially when you you do your uh, dash strikes, it has this big arcing swing that you do that's kind of slow and hits kind of like a baseball bat. Um, the, the thing that Flurry Jab does is it completely changes your dash strike animation to make it like a series of 
quick jabs that allows you to do these really rapid skating dash strikes around the battlefield, uh, able to put out many, many, many attacks very quickly. So it's on paper, I've heard sometimes people get confused when they think about why, why it's good. Uh, when, when they just look at it on paper, because they're just like, oh, it's just an attack speed bonus, right? It it does more than that. It actually just changes fundamentally how the weapon moves. It gives you more mobility, and it takes, as you said, it takes that cool, that, that um, thing, dash recovery cooldown time. Normally there's a little bit of cooldown between when you can do your next dash attack. That's why you can't do them instantly. But Flurry Jab just takes that all away, and you can put out jabs left and right. Yeah, really. it manages to fundamentally change how the weapon plays in the best possible way when it comes to um, when it comes to having fun with your weapon. So the point is, we basically are going to get to showcase some of the best of what Achilles Spear has to offer here. Oh yeah, that dash strike boon, that dash strike chaos boon is spicy. Um, a fun thing about crit is that crit actually works really well on Achilles Spear because of how crit scales. Uh, so he's going to try and pick up this Artemis attack here for yeah, the... Yeah, no, I completely missed what? like there. Yeah, no, <laughs> I double input it up, which got me to a reroll, and then, you know. Uh, he so would I, have gone for it had he had the presence of mind to take it instant. It whips. Well, yeah, no, it's fine. We'll, we'll get it later. Don't worry about it. Um, but Artemis attack is... At, its, at some of its best on this weapon. Now, a bit of a weird thing with Flurry Jab is that you actually attack so fast that you uh, will sometimes be attacking without your Achilles buff just because... Uh, it'll chew right through it. It'll chew right through it, exactly. So you're not getting as much value out of your Achilles buff as it, you might have with, say, the, uh, the second best hammer on a spear, which is Serrated Point, but it's still very powerful. Oof. <laughs> Gosh, yeah, Second you really barge. need to. Oh no, that sucks. But you really need to pick up an Artemis attack now because you now have <laughs> Hydraulic Might. Too. Yeah, <laughs> Hydraulic Might is uh, yet another buff that scales very well with crit. So uh, if you can pick up crit, <laughs> this will all be pretty great. Another point of difficulty about. Uh... Achilles Spear, which is kind of masked over by the fact that we can just use our attacks. Um, and this is something that is, I think, anyone who's had to learn Achilles Spear struggled with at the start, which is chasing down your Zeus cast. We haven't really gotten to see a, a ton of that. We saw a little bit of it in Tartarus. Um, but since the casts are so unpredictable, they bounce around from enemy to enemy. And sometimes they'll target things that aren't quite there yet, so they end up flying past them. Uh, kind of like you might have seen just a moment ago, where it sort of landed in the lava. Uh, that's... It's difficult to say if it's a skill or if it's just, like, something you cope with, right? Like, you kind of deal with the fact that you have to just chase these suckers down. Well, I think there's a there's a subtle art. There's many of these things in Achilles Spear, is what are the many subtle arts of playing Achilles Spear well? Uh, is noting is the, the subtle art of knowing when you actually have to chase down your cast and when you can just sort of leave it and go in on whatever other game plan you have. Yeah. I think Satan's been doing really well with that uh, during this run is doing a lot of focusing a lot on the flurry jab and uh, uh, letting some, his casts kind of lie off in the void if they end up going a little too far for him to re reasonably go and get. Because it'd be a, it'd be slower to actually go and get your cast than it is yeah. to go hard on the enemy. Um, yeah, sometimes you, sometimes you, yeah. you just want to leave them there because you'll spend more time chasing them down than you'll spend actually using them and killing enemies. Exactly. Keep one eye on the cast and one eye on the streets. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask me what that means. I don't know what it means. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm afraid I don't either. So. Also, I, I just wanted you. to very quickly speak to <laughs> how different this run has been compared to the dry run we did last night. Uh, oh, yeah. We are oh, currently yeah. two minutes ahead of the pace from last night. <laughs> oh, you're running against your... Uh, yeah, your running against the, uh, the split no, from last night. night. <laughs> Something... This so we are definitely schmoozing at this point. 
this is a moment, I mean, not to, <laughs> this is a moment where I could put a, a, a damper in your parade by accident, but I, I would like to, uh, uh, let's talk about sort of the, the variance of these runs. Even though there's a lot of RNG, um, <coughs> excuse me, even though there's a lot of RNG, uh, inherent in, uh, Hades runs, something about all weapons that's kind of wonderful is that, uh, because you're doing six runs back to back, you actually can sort of mitigate RNG a little bit. Even on like world record pace runs, um, usually there's one or two stinkers in the run. Uh, just bad times that you you don't <laughs> usually want to see. But it's okay because if you have the other, the other runs can make up the time. You can. Uh, there are many people who are proponents. Bablosation, one of the top speedrunners of this game, um, is a notable one who just that uh, that's just in the camp of always finish your runs because you can be two to three minutes behind at some point and still manage to get like an amazing time. My last world record time, I think I was like two and a half minutes behind at one point and was able to pull it back. So like the the uh all weapons is kind of beautiful in that way that your rng matters but you can make up for it a little bit more you could probably go zeus attack here yeah that's what i was thinking if it gets offered let me just pick it up yeah epic jolted got him. Yep. oh well me. suppose you have to pick up the gun in order to make that decision yeah i'm just gonna take it <laughs> All right, so I guess we're going for the Zeus attack version of this. That's cool. Well, that, um, I think that was his plan all along, right? Uh, yeah, that no, was why he rolled past it, so that ah, he could gotcha, uh, gotcha. so that you eventually pick up this superior, uh, a, a level zero rare Zeus attack in Elysium. Yeah, great. Uh, ten out of ten. There's two level two. <laughs> Very Thank you. Serious about this. There, there are two schools of thought when it comes to this. Um, Zeus. There's the Zeus attack school of thought and the. Um, and the Artemis attack school of thought. These are, they're, uh, those are the two commonly accepted best attack boons for Flurry Jab. Uh, which one you prefer is down mostly to personal preference. There isn't really a, a serious reason to pick one over the other. Uh, the general just comes down to, uh, Zeus attack is better once you have assembled a whole bunch of different pieces that make it better. Like once you have um, like jolted, for instance, we have an epic yeah. jolted. Yeah, exactly. But um, the in a vacuum with only one boon, Artemis attack is probably better. So uh, if you take the the Zeus attack build. Usually you want the Zeus attack early on, some time in Tartarus with Flurry Jab, to be able to really maximize uh, your Zeus boon you know, intake and really focus on that build. And then Artemis attack you could just pick up any time, but luckily Satan already has a lot of the pieces that he would want to have with Zeus attack, so it was a fine take even in Elysium. And what we are go sort of going for does highlight I think something that, even though it, it, it kind of lost some steam with the new update, uh, building flat damage is still good. Um, and we are very much a flat damage build. Because oh, we got yeah, the course. Poseidon, you got the Poseidon dash, we've got the Zeus attack, uh, we've got the Jolted, uh, Satan is dying, everything is, <laughs> is going as it should. Yeah, everything is right in the world. Um, so, to speak a little bit to flat damage versus uh, what flat damage means, there's two actual, there's two uh, styles of gods, I suppose, uh, in how they provide you damage boosts in this game. There are percentage damage gods and uh, flat damage gods. Percentage damage gods provide things like your attack does 80% more damage, right? Which takes the, the base damage of your weapon and multiplies it. Uh, flat damage gods uh, provide you damage by saying, hey, every time you attack, like Zeus does here, we're going to add this little lightning bolt that does X amount of damage. We can also think of Merciful End that we saw earlier as a flat damage thing because Doom, uh, damage. Doom is a flat damage source or like Dionysus's hangover poison is uh, 
is also flat damage. Um, flat damage sources are uh, tend to be independent because uh, there aren't very many things in the game that can multiply them, so they tend to be independent of all of your other boons uh, and need to have other boons from the same god to scale appropriately. Uh, but depending on your weapon and depending on how you uh, how fast attacks, how often you're able to do dash strikes, things like that, flat damage can actually just straight up uh, match, if not do better than percentage damage boons. Basically, you can find things that do large numbers, and large numbers are pretty good. Oh, especially we do in fact like large yeah. numbers around these parts. We we here at the Hades speedrunning community uh, promote the usage and discovery of large. Numbers. We have unfortunately we don't use as many big big number weapons in all weapons as we'd like, um, but we do have one. Do we? Do we? Oh, I, guess, I guess that's true. Uh, yeah. Damn. <clears throat> it's it's funny. Uh, the Beowulf build will be running. It's not as large of number as Beowulf can usually get, so my brain just doesn't register it as a large number weapon. It's still a pretty large number. Yeah, it's just not the large number, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Our, when we talk about the largest number weapons, the, the largest number weapons do like... What... what What's you guys' maximum hit off of Dyna uh, Stygian Beowulf? Uh, whatever uh, the maximum amount of health that you can do to a Hades phase is. Yeah, 5,000 something. <laughs> oh, 5,400 or something like that. Mine's 8,300. <laughs> Part own? Yeah, <laughs> I, did, I did that a while back in phase two of, uh, of Hades. But essentially, 8,300 damage, by the way, is enough damage to instantly uh, to uh, one-shot a the second phase of Hades, or at least one-shot one of the halves of the health bar of the second phase of Hades. So um, that's how much damage that build can do. Uh, however, it is inconsistent, and we don't really want to... <laughs> To have the run suddenly be super slow because we didn't get a second cast out of a chaos gate uh that would be uh as the kids say not pog say you saving that uh you saving that call for something yep. phase two first could have used it and then uh you know probably built no. up another call no not finished okay <laughs> He's the speedrunner. We are just the commentators. We Fair we enough. We don't have those pro strats. Can take a moment to talk about Hades Call, uh, because it is kind of a unique keepsake. Even more unique than the already unique keepsakes that we have, I'd say. Although we are seeing a sort of uh, neutered version of it, which is unfortunate. Uh, the keepsake that we have on right now gives us uh, gives us an automatic call, and and uh, it already it'll, it'll start with I think thirty percent of the charge bar, and when we get a stock of it, and there are only two stocks, uh, there used to be four. Uh, you'll you'll go invisible, and you'll gain one hundred percent flat one hundred percent global damage for two seconds. Uh, this used to be way more powerful. This is the thing that we were talking about, where, uh, where the this is the big change to the game that we were referring to a little earlier. Uh, Hades Call used to have four stocks, which meant you could use it way more often and have way more uptime on that 100% damage. But and it the way it works okay. now is if you <laughs> use a lesser call, which is where you just use one of the stocks, you don't get it. You don't get that 100% increased damage for two seconds anymore. You just get it for one hit. Which is oh, no, a no, very still, big difference. Oh, is it still two seconds? Nope. They... Still, still one point five okay, seconds. Part. Okay, they didn't. I they they didn't change it to. I guess there were like three different changes they like did on uh, the test server before. Yeah, they. they um, we actually. Uh, this is a fun thing about this game is that uh, the developers are actually very uh, active with the speedrunning community. They actually really like to talk to us and see what we think about changes. Um, 
And in the process of doing the betas for the last patch, they uh, Amir Rao, the game director, basically asked us whether or not the change to making it like a single hit would make it unusable in speedrunning. Um, and we said yes, it would make it completely unusable. And so he decided not to do it for our sakes and instead uh, kept the functionality, but uh, made it so that it was uh, two stocks instead of four, which was uh, designed to tone down the power level a little bit, but still keep it usable. And that's completely a developer just listening to the speedrunner's feedback and listening to the community feedback and making changes based on that. So it was a, it, which has honestly been Super Giant's philosophy all the way through this. Uh, they've been really active with the speedrunning community even s ever since early access, and it is uh, it's been a pretty great experience to uh, to <laughs> talk to them and um, you know help shape the game. So the thing that I'm chuckling at, uh, we had spoken to Flurry Jab being a very important oh <laughs> hats. Uh, we had spoken to Flurry Jab being a very important hammer for Spear. <laughs> well, nice we just got insane. Double Ooh. Edge, which is the best possible sword hammer in the game, period, bar none. It makes it so your dash attack hits twice, which is a lot of damage. But let's not uh, no. let that distract. <laughs> 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 okay, we'll let it distract us this one time, all right? You only get one. All right, this is this is your one freebie. Um, All right, sick. At this point, uh, we'll we'll take a we'll talk about sight and sword in a bit. Uh, do we want to take a moment to read out donations because we've had several since the last? Oh yeah, no, we've got yeah. Feel free to hop in with the uh, donos anytime. If, uh, there's anyone in here to do so. Yeah, well, I notice he he's uh he's out of the channel for ah. the time being. I don't know if he's uh, yeah he's with us. So when he does, we'll we'll let him know. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm sure he's he's busy with all um, the pre-production. Yeah, in that case, we'll just talk about Poseidon Sword. Yeah. Uh, so if you want to take away with a, take it away with a uh, explanation of Poseidon Sword, Riz. Yeah. So this is actually, at least in on the surface, dear God, all these natural Poseidons. Sorry. Uh, so so Poseidon Sword sort of is, at least on the surface, fairly similar to Achilles Spear. It gives plus fifty percent damage to all casts. And whenever you hit something with your special, if it has a bloodstone in it, um, which are the, the little red casts that you see coming out, um, it'll fall out and you can pick it up and use it again uh, at your leisure. So, uh, that, although that being said, this weapon does play a lot different from Achilles Spear, which is another mistake that I made when I was uh, sort of early in my days learning how to use this weapon. I thought that it would I thought it was basically just kind of a weaker Achilles spear where you throw out your casts and you kind of just let them do the work. But Poseidon's sword, since the the the, the damage increase is lower, it's just fifty percent as opposed to hundred fifty as opposed to one hundred fifty percent from Achilles, you kinda of have to do a lot of extra work to keep it absolutely there are some other there's some other uh boons that are like work really well with it because of its unique pattern um such as exit wounds where every time you hit and the enemy all the uh the cast pop out and then exit wounds makes that pop out do bonus damage uh so it has a very different sort of play style from achilles uh but you are going to be seeing a lot of zeus casting in fact more than achilles generally does um, but we ha we have had a lot of donations, and it seems like Thar is back, so let's toss it over to him to get some donations read out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I apologize for that. I uh, no just had to get something sorted real quick. But yeah, uh, we got a $15 donation from Tyler HK 93 who says, D.O.B.O. has beaten 50 Heat. Can Afrobio say the same? <laughs> Very good point. Yeah. The answer to that is actually yes. Afro oh. Well, there, there you have it. Uh, hopefully I say this right. Uh, Halion? Halion? Oh, Halion. Uh, $50, who says, Hi, guys. Good luck on your run, Satan. Don't forget to say, they're off. <laughs> oh, we he actually forgot. did say, and they're off. No, I said it at oh, the uh, very start when we started the oh, run. Have nice, no you got it. Nice. Uh, Arts Freak uh, donated $20, and then JDNSR, $20, who says, Good luck, Satan and Dunk. 
but not wrist. <laughs> wrist yeah, isn't no. on here. <laughs> Never wrist. Don't worry. Okay, uh, I don't inside joke, I guess. <laughs> All right, back to you guys. I just want donations coming from the Hades community. Yeah, yeah huge yeah. thanks to the Hades community. Y'all are fantastic. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for all the wishes. Absolutely. And thanks for being so fantastic all the time. For the employed we, uh... section of Hades community, we thank <laughs> <laughs> we do have a uh, We do have a very supportive and uh, wonderful community in the Hades community. The speedrunning Discord is constantly full of people talking about things. Um, and... Uh, just generally having a, a good time. Ooh, Mirage Shot. Lightning Rod, though, Sag. Uh, I, I don't, I don't feel bad about that role at all. What? I thought you liked Lightning Rod. I do, but would I prefer to get something else? Yes. <laughs> In that instance, Lightning Rod walked so that Mirage Shot could run. Absolutely. And Mirage Shot. Oh boy, does Mirage Shot run. Uh, let's talk a little bit about um, what Mirage Shot is, because we're going to be seeing it hopefully on the next two weapons, <laughs> uh, or on this weapon and the next one. Um, so Mirage Shot is a duo boon between uh, Poseidon and Artemis. And what it does is it makes it so that you notice there's a lot of little lightning balls flying around the screen. What it does is it adds a second cast to every one of your casts that does only 30% of the damage of the original. So it is this uh, extra 30% uh, boost of damage. Oh my god, flurry cast. Um, <laughs> his build is disgusting. Um, oh, it's epic. Oh, I missed that. No, it's it's rare. It's rare. It's not epic. Oh, are you sure? Wow, that's yeah, yeah. still super fast. Oh yeah, yeah right. Shot helps with that because you have oh, the really? second one. You're to seeing go out. you're seeing yeah. basically an after image, which is the mirage shot, okay. which is the, the anime exactly. speed lines of casting. Got it. <laughs> exactly. exactly. <laughs> but uh, mirage shot is thought to be one of the most powerful duo boon, single duo boons in the game, um, because casts are already so strong, and getting more cast equal more damage. <laughs> yes. uh, more cast so, is more damage. More cast, more damage. Cast go... Um, it's, uh, it's kind of funny. Uh, I... The sort of, um... progression of cast builds to where they there's always like individual things that they're looking for but in the back of your mind you're always thinking wow, but what if mirage shot this run <laughs> <laughs> yeah absolutely it's That's like a lot of mirage shots yeah it's like every time you play <laughs> every time you play a cast weapon you're like well i'm not specifically going for mirage shot here but ooh, if i get it mm, that would be mm, so nice unless, <laughs> unless. Uh, That's one of the so, really fun things about speedrunning Hades, though. Honestly, is some like even after running it for, I think I've got a thousand one hundred hours. Dunk, you've probably got a similar amount of time. Uh, uh, a little, you're, yeah. You'll I'm, you'll I'm still occasionally behind. you'll still occasionally run into some some new things or some exciting combinations that you didn't really think about before. Just the other day, during our test run on Poseidon Sword, <laughs> our friend here, Satan is a chill guy, picked up Lightning Rod and Splitting Bolt, which is a, a weird combination where you're, you have this uh, Lightning Rod makes it so that every time one of your casts drops onto the ground, uh, it becomes a stationary sort of Lightning Rod that lightning shoots, rod. drops Lightning Bolts on nearby enemies every couple of seconds. Um, and Splitting Bolt adds a, an additional blast of lightning to any lightning effect that you get. Uh, there, it's a leg, it's the Zeus Legendary, which is incredibly difficult to get by itself, and then a Duo Boon. So it's not exactly a high chance of getting those two things together. And let me tell you, it was it was okay. It was all right. It wasn't like a <laughs> There's better combos out there, but you know what? I had the most fun, and that's how yeah, sometimes winning in Hades is determined. It's who's having more fun. It's true. Are you really speedrunning yeah. if you're not having fun? Yeah, then you're just playing Air Trail. Oof. Um, 
<laughs> the that is that does highlight a thing about this game is that it's every once in a while, like we do complain about RNG sometimes. We're just like, oh, well, we just got RNG'd. But at the same time, the RNG in Hades is usually very manageable, and we all still love it. Like, we wouldn't be speedrunning this if we didn't love it. We do uh, kind of overdose a little bit on copium a bit um, <laughs> at times because we uh, we get messed up by RNG, and then we just go, no, no, this is totally fine. Don't worry about it. I, I meant to do for. that. We will find the silver lining in any terrible situation, uh, for better or for worse. But it's because we love the game. Oh, absolutely. Also, uh, Satan, I'm curious, like, what do you think the odds are of, of you dying this run? Uh, zero. Wait, okay, I, I thought it was zero, too. Hmm? What's Wait up? a second, I can't see his health bar at the moment. Oh no, he's still. Uh, it's a little low, but we have Hydra Light from Patty ticking, so I'm not like mm -hmm. overwhelmingly oh, yeah. no, you're, worried. You're okay. You've and only he's... got you've got two Ds left. Yeah, he's he's well positioned to die to dad in the in in the final fight. That's Wait. true. Uh, to be very clear, there are two weapons in this run that are um, known run killers. <laughs> uh. <laughs> They are the two Zeus cast weapons, so we got through one of them okay. We got through Achilles Spear. Now we just have to get through Poseidon Sword without perishing a... <laughs> dying a painful, untimely death. Um, Everything's fine. We're just gonna, you know, play some rooms nice and slow. We're like four minutes ahead on uh, my splits, <laughs> so, you know, we can just hang out. We've got five casts, you know, we are can, you we can have PB some fun pace? with it. Are you on no, PB Pace no, yet? No, no. Wait, what's what is your PB from the last battle? Uh, it was 156. 156. Okay. So four minutes ahead would put us at like 157 from last night. Yeah. Gotcha. So not quite PB. Not pace. bad. But still, not a bad pace whatsoever. Yeah, it means seriously. I get to hang a bag, throw out my cast, just have fun with it, you know. Which is the most important thing, the fun you make along the way. <laughs> <laughs> The shield enemies you don't die to along the way as well. That's the most important thing. <laughs> True. Oh, man. True. Shield guys, shield guys with cast weapons in general, though not with Stygian and Beowulf, are uh, generally very <laughs> annoying because you focus a lot of your damage into this like line attack, and if <laughs> if your line attack hits the shield guy's shield, it does nothing. Your line attack is worthless. So, as we saw there with several of the casts getting blocked by the uh, the shield guys, <laughs> plus the do shield guys don't exactly have, have six casts, so, you know. <laughs> so, not a small number. Um, I think it is fair to say, though, that even though our casts are bouncing off this guy's shield, these fast-moving Zeus casts look very pretty. <laughs> oh, <laughs> do sure they? Do. Really, yeah. <laughs> he's pew-pewing like he's never pew-pewed before. This is I'm now having a blast, personally. <laughs> This is now Gradius, not <laughs> Hades. <laughs> sure, this is a modded run, so this is unsubmittable. And yeah, yeah. This is not so. <laughs> Which that is a thing that you sort of accept when you <laughs> go to mitigate your sack RNG. Hey, well, you can have a you can have a PB in spirit. Yeah, exactly. It's the it's the, it's the thought that counts with the PB. It's and like if I feel like it's I like PB if you PB. <laughs> it, it's like if you PB in a Hermes Cup race. Like a lot of people right. that I know have PB'd in Hermes Cup races, and it's like, oh, that's completely invalid. But it's a PB in my heart. And, and we are already hearing Duncan Satan bringing the copium in real time. <laughs> 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 We're really good at just coping with what we've got. All right. <laughs> Uh, man, I sure do love just when <laughs> cast Mirage Shot and just <laughs> it really holding down is circle. <laughs> it's... And just watching the casts become a spider web of destruction <laughs> flying across the screen. Thing to yeah, note, I do good. have a double edge, but I feel like I'm doing more damage just holding down the circle button. So that's I mean, what you I will are. be doing. You know, maybe you're like... feeling so good you want to play Dionysus Beowulf. You know, maybe no. you do. But... No. no. 
<laughs> but for oh, the no. people, for charity. I took Dude. I took big catch and fished in a speed run for the people. That's not enough. It would be God, if only we were okay with you dying once, you could drop in, <laughs> see if you picked up the cat the bloodstone out of Tartarus. Yeah. And if you did, if you didn't, you just reset in the middle of the run. Yeah, it'd be like when I did all aspects and I reset like seven times for uh <laughs> spread fire and daggery's rail. And then you didn't get it. Exactly. <laughs> uh, that was a good time. So yeah. if you think all weapons is a long speed run, well, there's an even longer one out there that's all aspects, where you do one of each aspect, and it's what, certainly a would run. You, would you say um, it's roughly four times as long as an all weapons? Uh, no. Yeah, you know, you could say that. It is it is not roughly four times as long as an all weapons because it's so grueling that even your all weapons aspects usually go a little bit slower. Well, that's so, where the roughly part comes in, right? <laughs> I and guess. it certainly it... is rough because there are just some real stinker aspects out there. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. this boy. game is not balanced <laughs> for there speed are... running. For speed running, it's balanced for casual yeah. play, and it's like for casual play, everything is viable, everything's great, um, which is you know pretty much how it should be. And sometimes uh, the moving. imbalance is where the fun lies, right? True that, um, but the the. However, place where that is really shown is in all aspects. The all aspect speed run is a. Uh, I don't really think the game was ever intended to be played kind of the way that speedrunners play it. And my god, was it seriously never intended to be played with every single one of the aspects in the game all in a row trying to go fast. That's what we do here at HadesSpeedrunning.com.incorporated.gov. Go <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pushing the game to its limits, which is also one of the really fun parts of of speedrunning. You know, you get to th there is something nice about not breaking the game, but seeing how far you can bend it to your will, if you will. Right. It's actually a good uh, time to talk about uh, something that's a little unique about uh, Hades speedrunning in general, is that uh, a lot of games uh, try to their speedrun categories are about starting the game and then finishing on a blank save and then finishing it as quickly as possible Ooh, nice epic exit wounds Woo um that's <laughs> hunter's mark nice um mom isn't like terrible so what we uh what we do in hades is generally instead of starting a game from nothing and then um and then finishing uh uh the game as quickly as possible which uh there is a category for that it's called first run but um one moment my brain uh <laughs> don't worry we, it's coming <laughs> yeah when we <laughs> my my brain was just had a moment of complete just like uh uh fog instead of starting from nothing and then completing uh, the game as quickly as possible instead we start from like a max save file and then we complete the game pretty much as intended but just trying to push the as intended parts of the game as as much as possible there are actually bugs and things that we as a community uh have banned have uh banned because they don't sort of fit in the spirit of how we like to play the game um things like uh there's a there's a piece of tech called the codex tech which allows you to skip uh, the door opening animations. It's a timer manipulation that we actually have banned because it uh, makes the runs a lot more frustrating to play and nobody really felt like running the game post the uh, Codex, Tech, uh, Codex Tech's introduction. So um, that's sort of the, the weird thing about Hades uh, compared to most speedrunning is we're actually probably the most glitchless one of the more glitchless communities uh, around. We we mostly yeah, we really play the game many. as intended. Well done. Not to say if there aren't fun things that aren't working as intended, we won't use those. Like Hades keepsake wasn't working as intended, and yeah. boy howdy did we use that one. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, saying this is your well, last yeah. chance. This is your last chance to make the the right no. decision. The right decision. No. To play Beowulf the way it's meant to be played. For the people. For the kids. 
Dunko, what do you think? We have plenty of time. Our time You're estimate gonna... is two hours and 25 minutes. There's a devil on my shoulder. I need you to be the angel Swap in this situation. That fit mirror. Tyler to... will donate $50 if you do it. You have to. It's required. Swap that mirror to Stygian. Do it, baby. Right now, my boy. Oh, For yes. the people. For them all. Nice. And on that note, I think we have some more donation messages. And hand it over to Thar. Yes, sir, we do. Let's see. Uh, I know you guys correct me on how to say this. I'm probably going to say it wrong again. I'm terrible. No worries. Museus? Museus? You Museus. got it right the first time. You got it. Go. All right. I can't have Hallian beating me. Uh, Hallia washed up emote. <laughs> and then uh, $20 from Ronnie, uh, who says, Nice job, Webs and uh, Vareem, on the Indie Heat. Good luck to Riss 13 and his all-weapons run. <laughs> Balancing it out. Back to you guys. Ow. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> All right, well, nice. this run already off to a bad start. We are out of rerolls, and we did not get plus one cast from that uh, chaos. So we will just have to see what happens. It'll be fine. Don't worry Although, about it. Luckily, so far, all the other weapons have gone really well, so we do, in fact, have time to lose. We have time to vibe, time to chill. And you know what? None of our runs have really went super poorly, so this is a great opportunity to show the people at home what a bad speed run might look. I mean, there's still <laughs> there's still room for it to go well. You know, we are just in, we are just in Tartarus. But, no. All right, well... <clears throat> That'll Give him some variety. Did you pick up the? Yeah, I picked up a oh, bloodstone from the well. Cast. That's so nice. Okay, oh. so let's talk what? a little bit it. about. Let's talk a little bit about. Yeah. Uh, ooh, ooh, wow, wild. Uh, about what Beowulf does. So remember Haribo from earlier, where it loads casts into the weapon, and then you're able to uh, fire them out at, at your uh, destination of your of your attack. Um, Beowulf is very similar in that you load your casts into your weapon and then you do this big old charge called your bull rush. And when you have a cast loaded into it, it's called your dragon rush. Um, dragon if you ever see rush. that on screen. Yeah. You have to say it with that accent too. I um, don't know why dragons aren't associated <laughs> with the wild west, but here we are. Nah. <laughs> it, I really don't know why super giant made that decision, but you know what? <laughs> here we are. Uh, <laughs> but it's weird. <laughs> but uh uh your dragon rush excuse me dragon rush uh <laughs> at the end of the dragon rush you fire off the cast um normally the consistent build for this is going aphrodite cast just like Parabo had and loading at a bunch of casts and exploding at a particular location the build that we're doing is uh stygian beowulf uh stygian beowulf is a relies on a particular mirror option that makes it so that your casts don't um, don't drop anymore and you don't have to pick them up. They recharge over time. But it does have a downside, which is that uh, you only get one of them to start instead of Dionysus the three Dash. that you would normally be getting. Dionysus oh, Dash. please pick up Dionysius Dash. Yes. Yes. Um, oh. oh, this is really nice. Uh, the big problem with it, that that only single cast thing we usually mitigate with chaos gates it's where the inconsistency comes in is that normally you want to pick up a plus one cast chaos uh boon from uh, uh to be able to give you a, a second cast for the rest of the run because that second cast is important for several reasons but it, it basically hits some thresholds that allow you to kill enemies a lot faster <laughs> oh wow <laughs> So we um, have what we in the business like to call an optimal boon pool right now. Yes. Yeah. This is ridiculous. Uh, the other thing, that's also another chaos gate. So you get another chance at the uh, plus one cast. Um, so one of the things that we're looking for on this is this build also focuses very heavily on getting Mirage Shot. So you know how we were like, oh, we, Mirage Shot is nice on the last weapon. This one really needs it. 
And honestly, Mirage Shot, having access to the pieces to Mirage Shot early, which we have right now, will give us uh, a, a much better chance at being able to, to turn this run around. It's happening! Plus one cap! All right, we just need oh, Mirage Shot here. All right, uh, that's fine. Amazing. That's fine. We don't need all of the pieces. It's fine. The it's, only like thing incredible. we have really cooking now is Mirage Shot. And then, like, we could have gotten charge shot there, which is a uh, hammer that's like it's Listen, the best I, hammer. I think you take plume in that. This is plume? why we said to do plume. Plume. We're going for it. No, don't take plume for the people. No, we no no no. no. We just, don't take plume because we need to guarantee we get mirage shot. Please that just take a key. You would like a god keepsake. If you want to take plume in Elysium? Do it. Just avoid Hermes up until then. All right. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. Almost. Basically, <laughs> the reason here. why we had him go for this build is because you might notice that we are uh, <laughs> pogging out of our minds. It's because we are. Uh, <laughs> this is this is a very this is a very fun build, and it's one that's re a really great uh, thing to watch. So, uh, if we can get all the pieces set up, you're gonna have a really good time watching the kind of damage numbers this thing puts out. It explodes things. Um, we this are could always be a good... have a good time. Yeah, this <laughs> might be a good time to read out. I think we have a, the fifty dollars donation from Tyler at the very least. So let's see if this we can get that you, one Tyler. out of the way. Yeah. I will. Uh, if he's here. wants to do it, That's really fine. quickly, we'll just uh, keep going. Say, <laughs> much like a Dionysus. Uh, Taking Beowulf <laughs> does just kind of like stumble around drunkenly into damage eventually. Um, because you're just kind of Auto going reload. along, hoping to find your pieces, and sometimes you just stumble into a lot of damage. Oh, yeah. I mean, auto reload is also it's good for two reasons one, it makes it so your cast recharge faster, which is just great. Um, and two, oh, yeah, well, well, we. There's only one, I think, Thar. Um, but uh, the other reason is that it opens up bad news, the Hermes Legendary, which just, the details are unimportant. It makes your cast 50% stronger. Like, flat 50% stronger. It's really good. Um, it's like having a Braid of Atlas, but it never goes away, and you can also get a Braid of Atlas with it. Braid of Atlas being yeah, a well item that does the same thing. It's pretty ridiculous. Um, so, the... Uh, We've opened up the option of bad news now, as well as having the very powerful already auto reload. <laughs> and if we can pick up Mirage Shot, bad news, and then maybe we also have access to Blackout, which will add another 60% cast damage, it would be pretty ridiculous. Also, I do want to point out um, that our auto reload is epic, which is extremely special because I'm pretty sure that. Um, wait, Hermes, Hermes boons do have a lower base chance to get increased rarity, right? Correct. Yeah. Am I crazy? Okay. So yeah, the, the, the epicness, uh, the, the literal epicness of the Hermes boon is even more remarkable for that reason, because we have no boon rarity going for us. Yeah. Swing and a miss on that Mirage Ooh. shot, but because we found all of our pieces, we get to force Poseidon into Elysium now if we don't get it in Asphodel, so we still have more chances at stumbling into our Mirage oh, yeah. shot. And we've still got the, like, core sort of starting section of this build really well fleshed out. Hermes epic chance is 3%, Museus? Incredible. Yeah, that is... It's normal base epic chance is 5%, uh, if I remember correctly. <clears throat> Something like that. Oh. Um, oh, man. No bad news. That one is a bit of an unfortunate swing and a miss. You can only really find two, sometimes three Hermes in a run. That third one comes from the stick shop. So the getting the legendary is exciting, but unless you have a lot of rolls and still get lucky, it typically isn't going to happen. Yeah. It's just a nice thing to go for if you can, especially since auto reload is a prerequisite for it, and it's one of the better uh, Hermes boons you can just get on Beowulf. So we're buying, if we have 500 gold and it's in the stick shop, we're buying Yes. the, yeah, okay. No questions. Just making sure. <laughs> better save up for that. I'll uh, start right now. Uh, I don't believe 
there was a, a suggestion by Tyler to sell side hustle and well, but I don't believe even if you sell a Hermes boon, you get more Hermes boons. I'm pretty sure once you have that one uh, set, once you have that uh, Hermes boon found, you don't get more options by selling them. Yeah, I think it works similar to how uh, God's being in your pool works for the uh, yeah. like the Hermes you get in a run. That epic uh, auto reload is it's hard to notice the the lower rarity auto reload but the the speed at which our bloodstones are regenerating is actually quite noticeable i'm pretty sure a epic auto reload shaves off almost a whole second from the reload time it's close it's like 2.26 some stupid number that they decided on over at super giant <laughs> game uh, it's finely tuned, excuse you. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it, uh, normal cast reload time on, uh, Stygian Soul is three seconds, so an epic auto reload cuts almost a third of the time out. Short work of the Hydra that I did. We're going for we may find a third cast. Oh. oh, do not use your reroll on it. No, 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 no. You want to save me? Rush yep. way more. Ah, <laughs> uh, we may be doing some very, very funny damage here soon. Oh if boy, some stars can start to align right about now. We're hoping cast uh, damage like plus cast is step one. And cast damage would be good. There's plus cast. Yeah. Oh, oh really? All right. There's Dog step one. Oh, oh my god. Another uh -oh. reroll too. Nice. Whoa. All right, well, this is kind of scary. Um, this is incredible. Never oh wow! Yeah. Oh, no, you're good. So you're good. here's the Don't thing. Work a baby. Fight here's them. The thing. Fight them. <laughs> fight them. <laughs> you have enough health. You can them. fight them. Up your dukes. I'm fighting them. What do you Stop mean? Throw your shield and throw yourself yeah. at them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing okay. the thing. Um, but the thing about uh. Uh, Stygian Beowulf is that Stygian Beowulf scale scales very well with extra casts. The more going up to uh, more casts than two is better on Stygian Beowulf than it is on I think any other weapon in the game. So uh, getting that third cast is absolutely ridiculous as far as uh, the power level increase goes. All right, we're we're looking nice shot, buddy. It still hit him. Yes, it barely. Did. You just tickled his back, the back nice of his Nice recharge. Oh, and he gets it. Anyway. Oh my god. I you know me. that I'm not in the business of getting punished for my mistakes. Yeah, <laughs> apparently. That's been apparent for like, this entire. You've run, known me for a while. Like you should. You should no, I don't yeah. believe in getting punished. <laughs> I mean, all of the mistakes you've made in your lifetime, I feel like uh, you've gotten out pretty lucky. Oh. This is the, the same way. as a chill guy special. It's oh. making a lot of mistakes in the run and getting oh, exclusive access. This is one of the risks of the run uh, of this build is that because of some of the uh, because of some of the duos that or the the gods you have in your pool, you do have a couple of a couple of extraneous duos that you can accidentally see. Um, one of the ones for that was uh, exclusive access, which we saw there, which is not bad to get early on in the run, but isn't particularly amazing late. No, <laughs> couldn't even see that soul hiding in the uh, best of fog. We had the same problem last night too, where I think you just left one there and you were dashing around looking for the next enemy. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, I'm a little blind. Well, remember, your brain wrinkly, my brain smooth. No. <laughs> I would never have a wrinkly brain. That sounds terrible. Yeah, Satan prefers the smoothness of his own brain to the roughness of, say, a dunk-style brain. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Unfortunately, uh, a little bit of a thing here, even though he is picking up an Artemis Spoon uh, here in this trial, uh, trials cannot drop duos. I can't remember if they can drop legendaries. but They can. Uh, we can get the Dionysus legendary here. 
Oh, that would be awesome. Yeah, so Dionysus Legendary is the thing that we would want to be getting out of this uh, because uh, we can't get Mirage Shot out of, uh, out of a trial. Um, trials are where you get two boons uh, and have to do a specific sort of challenge to get them uh, based on the gods. Basically, you displease a god and then... Oh! It... Oh, yes! Orange boon! Yes! Incredible. Coming in at the right time, uh, FoxyZilla54 to see some amazing Hades gameplay and a great orange boon. We all love our art. So we currently have three cast, epic auto reload, uh, blackout. And now we just like need Mirage Shot, but I'm not even sad if we don't find it at this point. If we get Mirage Shot, do you think we can one shot Hades phases? Maybe. If we land oh. our poison on it. Yeah, Wait, we didn't have, have... <laughs> her to dash on it first. <laughs> I just Wait. realized we didn't have four gods yet until that bag. <laughs> four gods? <laughs> I don't know how it happened, but we didn't have four gods. All right, well, you know. When we oh, say this thing does damage, uh... Oof! Oh my god! Yeah, we we have gotten quite a few donations due to the Hades community. I think we've I think the Hades community has donated like a couple hundred dollars at this point, which is pretty awesome. So uh, we're 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 moving a little bit. I'm gonna take this because it sounds fun. Just a tad. Remember, yeah, we got I, another either... fifty dollar donation from the Hades community. Another from one from oh. a. <clears throat> Sorry, I should have cleared my throat before I started talking. <laughs> Jesus. <coughs> no. Okay. Worries. Let's try that again. We got a fifty dollar donation from Tyler HK93. You have chosen correctly. I bless you with plus one cast, bad news, and mirage shot. Well, <laughs> you, you, well, we don't have two of us yet. So we are almost Tyler. there. Um, but I just want to say to the Hades community, everybody who's donated today in general, thank you guys so much. Words can't express how much we appreciate this. Can't really say anything other than thank you. Um, we're raising money for a good cause here to help change the face of men's health. So let's keep those donations coming, guys. Back to you. Yeah, absolutely. So, it's It's been really great to see just... We know coming from the Hades community how supportive the community is, but it's really see the really cool to see that you know carry on in places outside of like you know the speed Discord and people's individual Absolutely. streams. So to some people, uh, we did explain this at the beginning of the stream, but uh, beginning of this run, but we'll uh, we will re-explain kind of what this weapon does because we got some new viewers who may not be uh, well versed in what this is. Beowulf is a weapon that loads its casts into its bull rush and then has them explode out at the end. Um, we're using a specific build called Stygian Dionysus Beowulf that is pretty much the highest damage you can get on any single hit in the game um, loaded into a weapon. So uh, it is... <laughs> Splitting headache! Oh god. Two sec mentality. Hey, our cast are... can crit now. Our cast can crit. Oh, we can. Uh, <laughs> we just need to get their last chance. <laughs> oh no, Pinecone. We didn't take the wrong door. This is what we call the two sack mentality. So normally, normally, uh, you have a chance to get the sack in two to uh, two to five sacks um two to five paths we have a mod on at the moment that makes it so it can only be a two or three sack uh normally you want to take uh mini boss doors because mini bosses are generally faster <gasps> are always faster than a normal room in sticks but if you want to uh get the reward on a normal room if you want it for a specific reason you can go for it even though it's probably suboptimal um, unfortunately, we got punished for this because we didn't get the, the sack immediately, but it's okay because we're, at this point, we're looking for, we're not necessarily doing the optimal speed stuff at the moment. We're looking for the biggest numbers possible. We're gaming. Oh, oh dude. I'm oh, dude. slightly go behind you guys. For money. Just oh, I should have gone for money. You're right. I forgot. Oh, no. My, my, uh, autopilot brain kicked in. Actually, no, we have, we have side hustle. We might be able to get it. Oh yeah, we might okay, be okay, okay. get there. Break those pots. This is we what we mean when we shot. say like this is a Rube Goldberg machine of a weapon. No, 
<laughs> yes. This mach this weapon requires so many weird disparate pieces to come together, and if it does, oh, baby! All right, so uh, let's see. Remember to dash on top of Hades before doing your, your uh, bull rush. But let's see how much damage you can Oh my god, the proud bearing. It's time to game, fellas. If you want to see a fast Hades fight, you're you're in for a treat. <laughs> Where we engage. Let's let's dash on top of him and then see if we can one shot Hades phases. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna meg on phase one. We're gonna be going for oh, no. the true one shot. I don't think you'll need it. You're good. <laughs> Pro gamer moves all around. Exactly, you sir. All right. <laughs> nope, we don't Not need it. <laughs> oh boy, I am a little behind, so I didn't see it yet. Fresh oh, the stream, fool. <laughs> I didn't want to miss a second of Hayden of gameplay. I'm gonna get a pre-roll ad now on a stream that I'm commentating. So this is the fun of uh, this weapon. Um, <laughs> I love this weapon so much. I forget to use their calls. I'm pretty sure Beowulf. I'm pretty sure Stygian Beowulf is my favorite weapon build in the game. Oh! So, oh my god! Oh! Uh, Blackout is disgusting! Disgusting! And there it is. Disgusting. There's a Hades fight for everybody. <laughs> oh my god. We Thank got there. Thank you for the blessing there, Tyler. We yeah, fully everyone, got everyone there. Thank Tyler for that fat <laughs> donation who, for buying this amazing run. Woo! And uh, now we're on to the last weapon, if you can believe it. Yeah. Hey, if you get like a, if you get a solid run here, you could actually come in at a pretty clean, crispy time. Yeah, we're we're on pace for a sub two. We'll see how uh, Aerith Trail chooses to treat me. It hasn't been kind. It wasn't too kind last night, and it wasn't super kind today. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm praying for cluster rockets. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, the real question fact, is, do we anvil if we don't have cluster rockets going to? It's this is a charity stream. Of course we anvil. Um, oh, of course we anvil. That's true. That's true. Uh, so, uh, Rist, would you like to take it away with an explanation of Eris Rail? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Eris Rail is a weapon that us, us uh, Hades speedrunners love to love and kind of love to hate as well if you uh visit the speed run uh uh the speed run boards you'll see in, in the main the main category the any heat uh a lot of the submissions will be with eris rail um and and some people take this to mean it's it's overpowered uh or or what have you um and it may be but what's most important is that this weapon is extremely consistent because unlike the other weapons, which, you know, give like the Poseidon sword giving, you know, 50% damage to cast or Achilles spear giving 150% damage to cast and attack. Maybe um, this just gives 75% global damage to everything. If you hit yourself with your special, you'll see uh, he's, he's lobbing out his bomb with a little uh, targeting reticle and standing under it when he does he'll get the sort of uh, Mario Kart drift wings on his back and uh, and that means that his 75% damage buff is on and that makes Eris pretty much one of the fastest weapons uh, or, or most consistent rather in the game yeah there's definitely stuff that has the opportunity to be faster but the nice thing about Eris is because of that 75%, you need so little to just get off the ground and really go. So you're, it feels a lot better to just be able to pick up Eris and put some runs in than it does to, say, run Nemesis Sword and be able to play until you get your first hammer. And if it's not the one that you need, then you just reset and have to go again over and over. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Uh... A lot of the builds, as you saw, sort of take a while to get off the ground. Um, some take until Elysium. Some are kind of completed in Asphodel once you get your second boon, uh, second desirable boon. This one is pretty much self-sufficient. Or even if you get a really bad run where you don't get most of the things you want, you'll still compete. You're still likely to compete with uh, 
with any of your other weapons. Absolutely. Um, there's in the sort of world record strats for these uh, for all weapons, Eris Rail actually happens very early on as opposed to very late because uh, it's one of those weapons where the variance isn't very high, but you want to get a really good time on it because it can really help uh, push the rest of your runs and it will always be faster than the rest of your run. Like almost always just because of the level of consistency you have on it. Conversely, like, it's yeah. it's nice to end a run. Like, this is a long run, right? Two hour long. Uh, at least by Hades standards, this is this is a fair chunk of time, especially for something we're going to have to grind over and over again for RNG. Um, and it's nice to have a weapon to end on that you just know, pretty much no matter what, is going to be fast. Absolutely, yeah. That wasn't what I wanted to buy. I, I, I kind of froze up on buying that Artemis because I thought I would be buying nice the Hermes. Hermes purchase. Yeah. <laughs> hey, thank it's you. It's okay. Uh, everybody's made that missed input before. <laughs> like, literally everyone <laughs> who plays the game. Uh, so. I have. Yes, you have. I've seen you do it yes, live on stream. Don't lie. I, I have I seen have. you do it live on stream, sir. You can't prove it. Uh, <laughs> recreationally gaslighting hey. your friends is my bit, sir. You can't That's just what I was going to say. <laughs> Gaslighting us into believing that we didn't see thing, stupid things that you did is <laughs> well, Satan's <laughs> shtick, not yours. You haven't gaslit us this entire stream, I don't think, so... Uh, I only did it a few once times, but, but Dunk I, wouldn't allow it, so I I kind of dropped the bit. I am, I am said thoroughly no not me. going to allow you to gaslight me. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse. So now to pick up the uh, second need to have on um, on Air Trail. Trail. It's it's interesting. Building in this game sort of breaks down into you have like two, three kind of pushing it need to have boons, and then the rest are nice to haves. And Aeris is one of those weapons that has like one or one or two need to have boons and then just like 30 nice to haves that like <laughs> you get them you go fast but you don't need to have them at all so ultimately you can and sometimes will just end a run where the only core boons you have are zeus attack and poseidon dash and you still just picked up like a 15 minute time it's pretty crazy <laughs> The uh, and there's a number of hammers as well on this weapon that are just incredibly powerful. I didn't see. Did you have you picked up a hammer yet? I have. We got yeah. flurry fire, fire, so we can't oh, get rockets. Uh, cluster rockets. Right. The uh, well, sad. unless there's an but, anvil and sticks. Oh, an anvil and we pick sticks. up one of cluster or rockets. Um, there is a uh, there are a number of hammers that work really well in this flurry fire. The one that we have is in the like the middling range. It's in it's a hammer that doesn't make your game plan worse, but it doesn't really help all that much. It's just kind of OK. Um, the optimal combo, the combo that you see a lot of like world records and things happen with is cluster rockets, which is rocket bomb plus cluster bomb. And it turns your special into this rocket shotgun that uh, with, you know, like crit or something can uh, instantly kill, <laughs> can instantly phase Hades. Yeah. Um, very powerful. That We've had a lot of barges today, my friend. Uh, I think we're on four. four yeah. Four yeah, that's, barges, that's a lot so, of barges. You know. We're uh, gaming, I suppose you could say. Birds <laughs> gaming. <laughs> Going to, you know what? Considering four barges, we've still had a pretty good pace. I'd say oh, so. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, it's uh, actually kind of funny. Um, our our resident modder Ello has done a lot of digging in the code, and Supergiant has you know a different code names for. Uh, for for the stuff in their game than we would be familiar with, their code name for Arch of Death is Murder Boat. <laughs> I actually didn't know that. That's really funny. Yeah, Murder Boat. What we call it is the barge. Oh of my gosh, because it's stinky. Ooh. Well, that makes oh. it a barge. Freaking fountain. Um, back yes. to back. Of, end of uh, end of Asphodel free room. Yeah. Wow. This is a That's, nice area. You've had five free rooms so far. No. 
You have. You've had two chaos just, games. Just ignore the counter in the top right. Two and chaos games. Even story see two you that. If you ignore the counter, I haven't had any free rooms. So, you know. Yeah, uh, here's the gaslighting. Come on, man. <laughs> Hey, alter alternative true thing. Come on. There's no, there's <laughs> even any shame in having gotten free rooms. That's a good thing. Why are you gaslighting us? <laughs> back? He's trying to do. Trying to do he's like trying to gaslight us so that we don't think that his bad time. We think his bad time is related to not getting free rooms and not exactly. related to. Exactly. See, don't understand. <laughs> like, exactly. Uh, if if you'll if you'll see above, uh, if anyone was here for for Dunk's uh, explanation of flat damage versus percentage damage. Uh, splash dash or, or uh, Poseidon's dash, which we affectionately call Splash Dash, uh, has really high base damage, which pairs really nicely with uh, the buff from Eris, the seventy-five yeah. percent extra damage. It, it just makes it makes the build. Almost nothing in the game can buff flat damage sources. Um, there's maybe there's like a couple of boons that can do it. But the uh, best way to do it is actually Eris Rail itself. Eris Rail, its unique effect is that its uh, its damage boost is way less than something like Achilles Spear. Achilles Spear gets like an 150% damage boost. This only gets 75%, but it gets it to everything. Flat damage boot, uh, sources included. It's part of what makes it so powerful. I mean, honestly, the thing that makes it so powerful. You better be rolling well, Satan. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. All right, I guess I'm gonna shut down. All right, you know what? Okay, I guess he's not gonna roll well. Seems like we do not negotiate with terrorists. <laughs> terrorists. See, yeah, for Eris those Eris wondering, Riss like absolutely adores the wells and the items in the wells. I'm only ever really looking for like two or three things. Well, them for chaos gates, though. And but Rist is looking for like every single well item. He will just go out of his way to buy out the well for fun. They're all good. I am. <laughs> I actually skip wells most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm so I mean, anti well. We're, we're in Elysium. We have six re rolls. I need I mean, them. We have six re. Never mind. Roll well. See? I need them. Even even Dunk supports me, which is a rare occurrence. What if uh, I need to see like my all my possible hammer options? So I need to reroll the hammers. You can't no. reroll hammers. <laughs> That's, yeah, no. <laughs> the joke being <laughs> the audience that doesn't you can't know that hammers. necessarily. Yeah, some people do. The audience probably <laughs> got it. Maybe knows. Some people in the audience know that. At yeah. least one person in the audience may not. Super know Giant that. intentionally made it so you can't reroll wells or not wells, um, hammers. So that way you don't just like fall in love with one hammer that you cannot play without. Um, so that's why, <laughs> while we still do, we're a bit less sad if we don't get it compared to like a boon that you really need, yeah. since you can reroll the uh, boon selections, but you can't reroll your hammers. Yeah, hammers are, it's actually a really good design decision for um, casual play, because uh, if you did have the ability to reroll hammers, uh, casual players would oftentimes be like, I just like flurry jab, and then they would only play with a flurry jab. hard for rush, oh, got it, never mind. <laughs> hey, we have hyper delivery. Hyper delivery is an interesting tomb boon combo in this game. Um, it's from Hermes, which makes it actually pretty hard. <laughs> Nice mirage shot, bro. <laughs> it's from Hermes, which makes it actually pretty hard to get. Um, Hyper Sprint makes it so that every time that you dash, you get a plus 100% bonus movement speed buff for a short period of time. It's less than a second. Um, and then Rush Delivery converts uh, a percentage based on the rarity of your Rush Delivery of your bonus movement speed into bonus global damage. So, uh, Hyper Delivery, as we call it, is Hyper Sprint, giving you plus 100% bonus damage every time you dash, then converting at least 50% of that, which is what Satan has at the moment, into bonus global damage. So it's actually really powerful. Yeah, targeting system's not a bad one to have. Yeah, yeah. targeting system's definitely just like, uh, we, we definitely take those. It's the... There's two really, really oh, good hammers in, uh for Aeris Rail, and then there's a couple of we take those special hammers, and then there's, like, the other hammers for the most part. And targeting system is definitely a uh, hammer you take, because it's another source of global damage buffing. 
absolutely. <laughs> it's powerful. Is it, like, as powerful as some of the ones you can get? No, but it's still very strong. Some yeah, people... Sure, I'll take a cast to go with our Mirage shot that we have and definitely <laughs> need it. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think I've seen... I don't think I've seen, like, melee Mirage shot crush shot. It's kind of funny. Uh, I mean, it Ow. seems to work. I mean, yeah, it's just... Die, it's buddy. just... It's one of those th things I've never seen in the game because I've never, I've only ever had cross shot, mirage shot on uh, on Afrocast, or uh, not on Afrocast. Can I on, please uh, get breaking uh, wave. All right, Harry. <laughs> there you go, Riss. We no longer have rerolls. <laughs> oh, I probably would have settled for the wave pounding. Uh, I thought about it, but we do have six coming up right now, and oh, having. One of the steak spoons is really, really nice. Yeah, yeah future sense. me is phoning in, telling me that we die to heroes. Uh, future you is kind of a liar, unfortunately. <laughs> Let's see if future yeah. me is uh, accurate or not. Like dying, like losing a death defiance to heroes. Yes. All right, Satan. Proving future wrist wrong is yep. something that we all have. It's a to very do. easy thing because wrist is frequently wrong in and of itself, right? <laughs> so you would think future wrist hit would manage to be smarter, but he just isn't. Okay, future wrist right. is fired. I think <laughs> future wrist is fired permanently. Yes. Right, no right, more time travel for him. Docked complete. Yeah, no more time travel. He gets those privileges taken away. As soon as I catch up to him, I will be sure to take that away. <laughs> All Just right. Point yeah, out, you're we are on pretty good hot. pace. You're coming in hot on a like a 157, 158. Yeah. Not yeah. bad. It's comfy time. It's a comfy way of of closing out the all weapons. <clears throat> Not bad. Ah, <sighs> sticks. <laughs> <laughs> I. <laughs> my anxiety spikes whenever I enter stakes on Aries Trail because it's happened so frequently that I will just like lose an otherwise very good all weapons run or a PB potential to like a four or a five stack on stack on Aries Trail. Well, fortunately, we are able to use that mod once again. Big shout outs to uh, to Element OP, uh, our our resident uh, racing slash speedrunning modder. That is fair. Big shout yeah. out. Yeah. Just to be clear, for those of you who might not know in the uh, in the chat, uh, this mod is not actually legal for full runs for uh, non-marathon, non non, um, non uh, uh, live format yeah. racing. So for leaderboard yeah, leaderboard format. runs, it's not allowed. But for racing yeah. formats and also like marathon things, we'll tend to use it just because it helps mitigate um, the RNG aspect of the game, which is Absolutely. always very nice to have. Especially like imagine when... this. Yeah. yeah, like imagine, imagine you could just at any point in any of these runs, we could have lost like five minutes just out of our control. Yeah, like imagine this run, but instead of all the twos and three sacks, we ended up getting like three, four sacks. Like it would be going significantly over two hours. And uh, we are actually coming up to time after this last Hades fight. Yeah, we're getting there. It's, uh, it's been yeah. a, bit of a journey. Definitely had uh, a ton of fun. Especially on the last weapon. Oh, that Beowulf run was fantastic. What a delicious Beowulf run. Aren't you glad that we bullied you into I'm doing I'm very that? glad you bullied me into <laughs> doing Beowulf. You had nothing but devils on your shoulder, but it turns out they were <laughs> angels in disguise. It was it was a hard thing to... It was hard to see in the moment, but I'm, I'm glad I listened. So, one thing about the Hades, and like the Hades fight, that can be very bad is whenever he stealths. Uh, Varim had touched on this during Webbs' run. But he will scream out darkness and then go invisible for a period of time where he's just <laughs> unable to be hit. Um, and believe it or not, the boss going invincible does tend to lose you time in a speed run. Crazy, I know. Well, that doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Satan is known for his his deep analysis and <laughs> large thoughts and uh, wide IQ. I'm wide a bit of a thinking happy. Ow. 
<laughs> so yeah, the one of the things and we we time. have looked in the code to figure out like if there's any sort of pattern to how he uses it, and there is sort of, but it isn't uh, yeah. easy to see. All right, there we go, and that's time. That is time. Congratulations, you made it. Ah, oh, and I didn't die once. Actually, you only. Actually, yeah, it was not only, a lie. It was almost. <laughs> it was uh like 